Hey guys, here in the shop you hear us talk about steering quite a bit. You may not know what all of these components do or what they're called. So today we're gonna go over steering 101. Now we all know what your steering wheel does, but you may not know how this gets connected all the way down to your tires. Well, that's where your steering column comes into play. This connects your wheel through the firewall into the engine compartment. And once you get into the engine compartment, that's where things kind of steer you the wrong way because you got a lot of different components to go around to get all the way down to the bottom of your steering. So that's where steering shafts come in and U-joints come in. Now your stock steering shaft actually has a really cool built-in safety feature. There's actually a part in here that will collapse if you get into a collision. That allows your steering to kind of fall away from you so it doesn't pin you in the chest. Here in the shop, when we have to design our own custom steering, there's a bunch of different aftermarket type shafts that we can use. But the one we like to use the most is called double D. Now there's two different sizes of shafts. There's your one inch and your three quarter inch. Now here in the shop, we like to use the three quarter inch shaft because it allows us to put our steering into tighter areas. Now for those guys that don't have a whole lot of room in their engine compartment, the smaller diameter can come in quite handy. Now we need to have a way to connect all these pieces together, and that's where these U-joints come into play. These U-joints are just like the same U-joints you find in your drive shafts. They allow you to direct that rotational movement around anything that might be in the way, like your headers or your engine mounts. There's a lot of different U-joint types out there. They have U-joints that fit stock applications, or they have U-joints that fit aftermarket splined applications. And now that we've driven you to this point, let's talk about the most important part of your steering, that piece that turns the wheels to the left and to the right. And that can either be a rack and pinion or a steering gearbox. Rack and pinion steering is found underneath vehicles with independent front suspension, and it is a pretty unique feature. As your suspension travels up and down from side to side, your steering follows that movement. For those vehicles that have solid front axles, there's the good old fashioned steering gearbox. All you have to do is connect some steering linkages from here down to your wheels and tires and you're hitting the trails. Now for some of you guys, that might have been old news, but for you newbies out there, all we're trying to do is steer you in the right direction and get you back out on the trails wheeling. 